welcome back to the channel uh, this morning I want to come and investigate this old eerie pub I see it online someone investigated and apparently there was some good communications going on here and obviously being an abandoned building or ex-pub you're never really sure if there's any down and outs or people inside but I'm gonna give it a go so wish me luck as we have a little walk through and investigate this location Is there anybody in this location? If there is, please let me know now before I enter. This is the only warning I'm giving. Okay, as you can see. Freaky old place. Let's have a little walk through and just hope that there's no one here. certainly still has its old bar smell as you can see the old log fire still there obviously it's currently just after 5am and obviously with all the windows sealed it does look exceptionally dark in here but in any case so the other paranormal team that come here, I think about, or if it was a few days ago, maybe, or a week or so, they certainly had a lot going on in here. Obviously upstairs, a big hole in the floor, but we'll see if we can get up there. But certainly a wrecked condition. Let's have a quick look over here. I just want to make sure the place is empty before I do anything else. Because you never really know in these locations. And I've never done a, a proper abandoned building before. But certainly the local yobs have been in. But this is quite the way out of the way. You find with pubs, they're quite away from the main towns. I'm not sure what this section was. Maybe this was like a living quarters or something. No, oh, it must have been just a lounge, bar, homemade pies. Not any longer. But certainly not much left of the upstairs, but we'll try a little bit of calling out in any case. This is obviously behind the bar. Obviously this is where all the kegs and that were stored. Maybe it doesn't have a cellar, which is a bit of a shame. I'd like to go up to the cellar. Walling cylinder gases. No, that's locked. So yeah, it doesn't look like they had a cellar. It was all done from behind the bar. Not the biggest of places, but looks like the gents' toilets. So we look to be clear downstairs anyway, so let's find our way upstairs and we'll see if. Anyone's up there hiding out. As you, as you noticed, I did call out when I came through. Sorry, I'm just being extra careful. I'm not sure how much up here we can get.
Is there anybody up here? I'm not here to hurt you. As you can see, the floor's gone there. Not the safest of locations. Let's see if we can step across these beams. Yeah, there's not much left of the floor, so I've got to be careful. Just looks like two additional bathrooms and maybe, sorry, two additional bedrooms and maybe a bathroom. Okay, let's go down to the bar. We'll do a little bit of calling out and spend 10 or 15 minutes here just to see if we can pick anything up. <coughs> Some movement down there then. Certainly there's an atmosphere to it. But let's maybe come into the lounge and try in there for a bit of cooling out. It's a shame it's got no cellar. I was hoping to spend a little time down there. But as you can see, obviously rain's penetrated and it is falling apart. So let's get the camera on the bar. And we'll try a little bit cooling out. Okay. So I put a cat ball and EMF meter up on the fireplace up there. I hope you can see that. And I'm going to try a little bit of cooling out. And see if there's anything here that can talk to us. Okay. Can I ask, is there anything that resides in this location, please? I'm here with great love and respect. I'm not here to mock or ridicule anyone that may reside here. EMF meter's going up there. I've got an EMF meter and a cat ball up on the fireplace. And I've got a little cat ball over on the front of the bar area there. I've got a small static camera that's just um, attached over there in the corner. So it's just hopefully looking out into the bar area. Please, whoever you are here, come forward and talk to me, please. Let me try something else. Might help if I turn the thing on. Entrance. Entrance? I've just come through the entrance. It's just here, spirit. Are you okay with me being here? Could you maybe come forward and communicate with me? Can you tell me what happened to this place? Why it was left abandoned and fallen into disrepair now? Was it maybe through the COVID times when pubs were shut? You should be scared. You should be scared. Why should I be scared, spirit? You don't scare me. Scare. Scare? So you should be scared and scare. What should I be scared of, spirit? There's nothing here that can hurt me. I have three devices in this area. Vegan? Oh no, we don't want to talk to vegans. I'd rather talk to spirits. Please come forward. Let me just get my static camera. I'm going to move that for a minute. True? True? What's true? I'll leave that facing over there. Hopefully that can see the area. I hate you. You hate me? Hate's a bit of a strong word. Why do you hate me, spirit? What have I done to you? I don't appreciate being... This is my home. This is your home. I know it is. I'm sorry about that. It is abandoned now. As I said, I'm not here to disrespect you. I'm just here to communicate with anything that still resides here. Am I upsetting you by being here?
Not strong words today. Whoever it is, or maybe whoever's here, isn't too keen that I'm in the location. Bear with me. Do not touch. Do not touch. I'm not touching anything, spirit. I'm just looking at your home. Nope. Nope. You don't want me looking at your home. Why don't you be looking at your home, please? I mean, no disrespect, as I said. I'm not here to ridicule anybody. I'm here to talk to you and communicate. Maybe could you show yourself in shadow form or orb form? Could you do that at least? Please come into this space. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? No, it's not spirit. It's probably about 5.30. Please come and communicate with me. Randy? Does Randy reside here? Or is the spirit Randy? Ominous? Ominous? certain if, if I'm right on the last explore the last team did here this week or a week ago they got the name Randy and they just assumed that the spirits were Randy which is a bit of a silly thing but so clearly there must be succubus oh god no we don't know succubus is I don't want no one sucking me in my sleep <laughs> that came out wrong, I can only apologise. Satan, do and do not touch again. Why am I getting the word Satan coming through? This is just a, an English pub. I don't think Satan will be residing here. Actually, I never told you where I was, guys. I'm actually, for the English watchers, I'm near Herne Bay in sure. Kent. Jerry. So can I ask please, is there a Randy here and a Jerry? Randy is clearly a name. If the other paranormal team got the name Randy, then that's clearly a name. You mentioned the succubus. Why would you want to... Tell me about a succubus, please. Just move some of this stuff out of the way. Attach. Attach? No, I don't want anything attaching to me, thank you. I won't allow you to attach yourself to me. I have God's protection. And that's enough, spirit. So you can get lost. You can stay where you are. Some noises in this back room while I was walking out the front there. Noah? Yeah, I don't think so. I certainly had lots of uh, words coming through, that's for sure. Obviously, if you. Um, believe what the spirits tell you or what comes through the box that's obviously entirely up to you but I find 9 out of 10 they are quite accurate they do in general relate to some of the history of the location obviously this one there is no history in reality it's just a pub but the only reason I've come here is because it's very rare to find an abandoned building close to home Richard. Return. I could return. Although I'm not sure how long this location would be here. High levels of energy. High levels of energy. Oh, I hope so. I could really do with communicating with whoever's passed. Maybe the old landlord that was here passed away. Maybe he resides here still. Maybe he loved his pub. Could you give me anything, please, Spirit? I'm not going. 
You're not going? Well, I would hope you wouldn't. But then where do you go when this place is finally to the floor in ruins? Does it still exist as a, a full location for you? I don't know, Spirit. I, I don't have an answer to them questions that I'm asking. But I would appreciate if you could tell me what it's like on the other side. That bar area is freakily Not dark. Likely. Not likely. You don't want to tell me. That's very nice of you. I was only trying to communicate with you. I meant no disrespect. Spirit, I can't spend too long here with you. It was only a quick visit before people or cars start moving around. I know this is somewhat out of the way, but cars do drive past the main road just off from this pub. And I certainly don't want the police in here. So please give me just a little more before I go, if you would. Certainly a lot of words. The number seven. The number seven. What does the number seven represent, spirit? Please. There's the old freezers. Infrared. Infrared. That's not even infrared, that's infrared. This is clearly the kitchen. Another old freezer. The human right experience. The human experience. Well, you've had the human experience. You must have. 1920s. In the 1920s. So you see the cat ball going off. Thank you, Spirit. Are you here with me now? Clearly they are. Who's near the cat ball, please? Is it the. Old innkeeper, maybe. I'm not sure how old this building was, but if it hasn't got a cellar, I wouldn't imagine it's that old. I could be wrong. I will give a little history on the location, obviously. I'll find out what I can about it, if anything. Oh, that's what I was told. And there it is. Can you see that doll's head and arm? Bit of a strange location to have it up in the rafters because the ceiling's obviously come down recently. G Rider, the 23rd of the 6th, 23. But certainly strange putting an old doll, and it does look like it's been up there for many years. Maybe it was put in before the building was completed. Can you tell me why there was a doll's head and arm put up into this ceiling, please? It's a bit of a strange thing to do, isn't it? Is it meant to scare people? I don't find it very scary. Is there anybody upstairs? What was that? Fire! Fire! I think there was a fire in here. I can certainly see... Oh, that EMF just flew up then. Thank you. Is the owner here with us, or maybe it's a, a member of staff, maybe, that's passed and is visiting this location? Please show yourself. Show yourself in shadow form. I do hope the camera's picked something up. I should have brought an extra tripod. Bear with me. I just want to... Two o'clock. I'm just going to move my static round here. I'm just... I'm only going to do another five minutes. But I'm just interested to see... Sandra? Is Sandra the lady that maybe? resides here this is turning into like an urban exploration 
<laughs> but it's always nice to explore the locations even if you are only here really to see if there's any spirit activity please spirit before I go please just give me something anything I would welcome any sighting of you move something throw something do your best But this is quite a nice little pub in its time. Not sure what that just said. I should have took the phone with me. Dog? Is there a dog here? Is there a spirit dog here? I've actually brought my drone with me this morning, so I may even do a little drone shot of the location just so you can see it's general area and what it looks like from the sky okay I think we can't do much more than that now we've been here probably about 45 minutes and I don't want to spend too much longer here because I'm sure that once the kids start moving around maybe they'll get out here so let's just close ourselves down We'll do a closing scene and then we'll go from there. So please bear with me. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little explore. I'm not honestly sure the name of this pub, but obviously I will put it up in the titles. But in any case, hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. There's been some noises, a lot of communications, an awful lot of communication. But it is always nice to do something different and this is different for me. So please leave a like and leave a comment if you would. Until the next time. God bless to you. I'll speak to you soon.